Hello, hello, and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kyra, and we are about to go through the ab and cool down portion of our workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. We can make our way to the ground here if you'd like, but you can also do all these exercises standing before we make it to our stomachs for the abs. So starting out, the first three exercises we're gonna do will be in a kneeling position. You can grab a weight if you would like. You can also use a water bottle, soup can, anything in your vicinity. If you have dumbbells, that's great. And then for the kneeling, if you would like a pad, you can have a pad underneath you or a couch cushion, a towel, blanket, whatever is in your vicinity. All right, so starting out here, we're just gonna begin with some side obliques where we're just bending to the side, trying to reach our one hand to the floor, bending at our waist, right where we would wear a belt, good. Just crease, and we'll switch halfway. Good job. All right, and we can move to the other side, switching hands now. And same thing on the other side. Good. Bending at the waist. Side obliques, our chest is tall, our eyes are tall. Good, all right. Next up, we have the twist. Okay, so our arms are out straight in front of us. You can have a weight here too, or you can just make a fist, and we're just moving side to side. These are all core exercises right now. So we want to focus on engaging those muscles, because the more you think about it, the more you're going to engage it. Good. Twisting side to side. You can use that water bottle or soup can too, or weight if you'd like. Side to side. Our eyes are up, our chin is up, our shoulders are twisting to the side we're looking. Good job. Again, we want those hips forward in this high kneel position, or if we're standing, we want to stand tall. Good. All right, and we're done with that one already. All right, next one, we have choppers. So, choppers are just like we're chopping some wood, okay? So we're going down and then up to the sky in a diagonal, okay? Down to the knee, up to the sky, twisting those shoulders with us. Up to the sky, good. Down to the knee, up to the sky. Halfway through, we're going to switch to the other side. Good, keep it up. Up to the sky, down to the knee, up to the sky. Arms are straight, elbows are straight, good. All right, now let's switch to the other side, good. Going up and down to the knee, to the sky, good. Do two more. Last one. Good. Okay. All right. We're going to make our way to our stomach now. Take your time getting to this position. You can pull that towel off to the side. I have a mat here in front of me we can find. You can lay a blanket down as well to make your mat. If you have a mat, that's amazing. Or a yoga mat, anything will work. All right. Getting warm, our stomach numb. <laughs> I'm going to my back. Good, okay. Starting on our stomach here, we're gonna to go to our quad, quad position, all fours, and we're gonna begin by doing some bird dogs. So a bird dog is when you're lifting your opposite leg with your opposite arm, reaching forward, fully extending both of them. We wanna stay in a neutral position here and not dip to one side, okay? We're staying tight, our core is nice and tight, and reaching the opposite arm and opposite leg all the way out. Good, fully extending. You can even point that toe if you'd like. Good. Two, last one and one, good, okay. All right, next up we have a plank here. Just going right into it, good, okay. We can go into a plank position now. Focus on keeping your core tight. We don't want to see any um, tents being pitched here. Staying nice and tight and engaging that core like you're getting punched in the stomach. You can also go on your forearms if you'd like, or you can use a chair or a wall. 
whichever allows. Okay, keep it up. You're almost there. You have 10 seconds. Keep pushing, squeezing that core. That's work. Three, two, and one. That is all right. Slowly coming to that quad position again. We can make our way all the way to our stomach now. And we're first going to begin by lifting our upper half, okay? So we're just lifting our um, chin, chest, and hands here, squeezing our shoulder blades together, upper back position. Whenever you feel like you've gotten that down, you can try lifting your legs. Focus on squeezing those glutes, those hamstrings. That's what's going to make these, allow these to rise. Good. Now, whenever you feel ready, putting them together. Good. If you'd like, you can fully extend. Some may call these supermans. Good job. Three seconds. Two. And last one, good. Squeeze and release, good. All right. Next up, we're gonna do that same exercise, but we're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg, just as we did in that bird dog. Now we're doing it lying down in a superman position, good. Lifting that chest, that chin, also while rising that back leg, good. Sit up. Opposite, squeezing those shoulders and squeezing those hamstrings and lower back. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. We can take a second here. Going into a cobra position. Doing a nice stretch for our, our core right now. If you are able, good. Okay. You can go into a quad position again. And back into that cobra, opening up that chest, that chin, looking up to the sky. You did amazing. Not to burst the bubble, but we have five more exercises. Good. Let's do one more of those. Opening up to the sky. Our ears, our eyes, everything is up. Getting a nice stretch to our body. Good job. All right. We can make our way to our back now. Take your time. You can pause the video here if you'd like. We are going to go into our last four exercises for our core, and then we're going to move on to our stretch. Okay, so starting out, we have some dead bugs. So we're going to be lying flat on our back. Our knees are up, and we're going to extend our legs and our arms and bring one the opposite same concept here, opposite arm, opposite leg. One arm and one leg are fully extended. It's like the bird dog. We're just lying on our back now, okay? So we're doing opposite arm and opposite leg extending. Good. Engaging that core, try to keep your lower back on the ground here. This is enough for you. You can even just raise your arms while your knees are in the bent position. But if you can, fully extending. Good. You have 10 seconds before moving into some scissor kicks. Keep going. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Fully extend. And one. Good. Okay. You can relax there. All right. Next up, we have some flutter kicks or scissor kicks if you'd like. The higher up we're gonna be, this might be easier to, not saying these are easy by any means, or you can come down here. Oh, I'm already shaking, shaking like a leaf. Good. Or you can do some scissor kicks if you'd like. Crisscross, good. Or you're swimming away. Or up here. Do these in a chair as well. Good job. You have 10 seconds. Trying to lift that back off the ground to engage the core even more. Our lower back is pushed into the ground. Good. Okay. Relax. 
All right, next up we have some hip bridges here, giving our core a little bit of a break, but we're still engaging it within this one. We're gonna lift our tailbone up, and slowly rise the rest of our spine, and push to the ceiling, good. Pushing our weight into our heels, you should be able to lift your toes up here, okay? And down to the ground, slowly releasing, one by one, good. And up we go. Pushing to the sky, really opening up those hips, engaging those glutes and hamstrings, all the weights in our heels. Good, and release. And we're back up. Last one, big push, and down, good. All right, and the last ab exercise I have for you today, we're gonna come up into in a upright position here. Take your time, and we're gonna do some Russian twists, okay? We're just moving side to side. Our shoulders and our eyes are looking to one side, and then our shoulders and eyes are looking to the opposite side. You can have your heels here resting on the ground if you'd like. It's gonna be a little easier, or you could have your legs up for a challenge. Good job, side to side. I wanna see your face. Good. Three more seconds. Last one. Amazing job. Woo. All right, you guys made it through the core. Good work, all right. Now we're gonna go into the stretch, okay? So we can stay on the ground, grab some water. You did amazing. 10 core exercises done for the day. Great job. Take your time here. You can pause the video, grab some more water if you'd like. If you are ready, we can make our way down to the ground again. All right, rolling back, taking your time, getting to our back. We first can begin by just grabbing those knees. Thanking our body for what we did today. You guys did amazing. Thank you so much for joining me again. And we can just rock side to side. Good. All right, then we can put those feet onto the ground and begin to just move our knees side to side. Our feet work together here. Our chest is up. Arms are straight up to the side. Good job. Last one. All right. Let's give our knee a hug. Bringing one leg up while extending the other one straight. Bringing your knee to your chest. Try to feel a stretch within your hamstring and glute region with all those hip bridges. <laughs> Good job. All right, and you can just straighten out that leg, grabbing behind the knee, or not behind the knee, geez, knee, behind the thigh or the calf region. Trying to get it as straight as possible. If it becomes a little too bent while you go, Go a little lower and just stretch it out. Good, all right, let's do some flexion and plantar flexion. Point the toes, don't point the toes, so we're stomping good. And point. Last one. Good job, all right. Let's just make some circles here with our toes around the world. All right, into the other direction. Good job. Two more. And one. All right. Good job. You can do another stretch here if you'd like. Whenever you're ready, you can release it back to the ground. Okay, and now to the other leg. We're fully extending the opposite and hugging the other one. Good. 
Pulling that knee to the chest. Nice hug here. All right, now we're straightening out that leg, pointing it to the sky, grabbing behind the hamstring or thigh or the calf for sure today. Trying to get our leg as straight as possible. We begin again with that pointing. Whew. There always seems to be one leg that is a little more angry than the other, isn't there? <laughs> Might want to give that one a little more love, though. Spend some more time on it. Pointing and flexing. Good job. And again, please feel free to go at your own pace. This is what these videos are for. This is your workout. So you can pause it. You can repeat it. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, whichever you would like. Good job. Making circles. This is your workout. All right, into the other way. Good. All right, and bringing that foot, returning it to the ground. All right. Lastly, I would just like to fold to one side here. Choose whichever way you would like to fold. We're just folding to one side like we're going to take a nap, but we're actually not. We're going to say good morning and open our chest and keep or er, and looking in the direction that we have our arm. So away from our body. It's my favorite stretch. Upper and lower. Really good to that back. Take deep breaths. Good. And it's my turn. Fold it back because we're going back to bed. Good. All right. Making our way to the opposite direction here. Can't forget about the other side. Head to head it. Good. Or you're opening up. Good job. Looking in the opposite direction. Good. All right. We can come back to the neutral position, and we're just going to do some wrist circles here now, scooping some ice cream up off the bottom of the ice cream tub. Good job. Any other way? Wash our wax on, wax off. All right, and just a couple flashers here. Fist into a 10, good. Fist to a 10, fist to a 10, and fist to a 10. Good job. All right, and we can make our way up into an upright position, rolling ourselves up, turning to our all fours, slowly rising as you please. And pushing off that leg. All right, that's all I have for you to or for everyone today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Have a great day.